Hi, my name is Renee. I'm a commercial lawyer from Clark Hamlin Lawyers. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the legal documentation required when selling a business. Firstly, you should ensure that you have a contract in place recording the terms that have been agreed between you and the purchaser. A contract should cover matters such as purchase price and deposit, any assistance you might give to the purchaser after settlement, any restraints on you after settlement and exactly what assets and business contracts are included in the sale. There are many more things in addition to those that I've mentioned should be included as well. If you are selling a small business, you must also ensure that you comply with the legal requirement by serving a Form 2 on the purchaser at least 5 business days before the settlement date and it must be served in accordance with the method required at law. A Form 2 is a disclosure statement that includes certain details of the business that could affect the purchaser's decision to purchase the business, such as any employee's details, current lease term, and the financial performance of the business over the last three financial years. The purchaser is entitled to a cooling-off period during which the purchaser may withdraw from the contract by giving written notice to you without forfeiting the deposit. The cooling off period commences on the next business day after the Form 2 was served and expires at the end of the fifth clear business day thereafter. Cooling off rights can be waived by the purchaser if the purchaser gets a certificate from a lawyer proving that they have obtained independent legal advice concerning the contract and their rights. We have a team familiar with the documents required to sell a business to ensure that you maximize your position and that you have complied with all necessary statutory requirements. If you are thinking about selling a business, please contact us so that we can prepare the required documents for you.